Hello there, lovely soul. Welcome to your full moon for January 28th, 2020. Full moon in Leo. And you hear my oracle cards, my hidden worlds oracle cards that I'm shuffling as I was settling in to get ready to start recording to do this meditation that I'm really excited to do finally. It is almost 9 p.m. here in the Pacific, and I was just guided to wait. I thought I was going to do it earlier in the day, but I was guided to wait and until we're closer to 100% and into our evening here on the 27th, and then I'm guided to get an oracle card here before we get started on the meditation. Oh, here, I think we got it right here. <clears throat> card number 24, Light Dancer. Illumination, the radiant self, shining soul. Oh, this is beautiful. I've actually never seen this card before. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, card number 24, Light Dancer, Illumination, the Radiant Self, Shining Soul. This is what we're getting here for our first full moon of 2021. And it's on page 82 of the Hidden Worlds Oracle. And here we go. Each of us is designed to find within us the light we see outside of ourselves. And with our five senses, we cannot see all that is. We cannot take in all that is truly within this world, this universe. But through reaching for the light that lies within us all, you have sought to become a more loving person. You have searched for the oneness and lost the sense of division. For moments, there have been pure bliss, and when it has departed, you have been sad, as though you have failed. As a human being, you cannot perceive all that is all the time. But in those moments when the bliss and peace of the truth of our connection, the acceptance of our transition, transitory journey within and through our bodies, the alignment with values that respect and love the earth, where we find union with others like ourselves, we find ourselves dancing with the light. Life has an ease and flow to it, and we feel we could reach out in hand, out, out a hand and touch the stars. This moment has come to you, even if you have forgotten its power. And it is here to remind you again of the beauty of the heart and soul, of the relationship you have to the infinite, which lies within you and without you. The light dancer tenderly touches what she can see in the hidden spaces of the universe and within your heart. When she comes to you, it is to remind you that you too are a light dancer, a being of the infinite universe, and you are as graceful, as aware, and as tender as she is. And illumination on page 83. I am evolving into an, an enlightened being, dancing with the light that dwells within me. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so beautiful. Definitely feel that power. Got me emotional. <laughs> oh, these oracle cards always know exactly where to go um to get get right in there don't they the light dancer wow you guys so what a beautiful card for this full moon and inspiring messages before we get into this meditation for the full moon and it's about recognizing what we can't see, but what we can 
feel if we decide to tune in and separate out what is distraction and chaos and see what is really real, feel what is really real. And a lot of times we can see so much better when our eyes are closed and we go into that meditative state and and we can bring in that light. And this full moon is all about bringing in the light and the light codes and working with our divine counterparts, our spirit guides, our angelics. Hopefully you've had the time to at least watch uh, the video for your own sun and moon signs. If not, um, if you didn't have time to watch all of the fire water, earth, and air, the four different videos that I did for this full moon tarot and oracle card readings, um, grouped by the elements. So, uh, it was just really amazing guidance there for what's coming in with this full moon and this full moon, it being the first one of the year and the messages and the way that I was guided to, to do the, these readings was, was really about not just this full moon, but about the the theme and the overarching um, I guess yeah, theme and journey for the year for these for these alignments with the with your zodiac sign and the elements and all that and they do shift and change depending on what's going on. So it's just good to have an idea of the four different themes that, that the light body collective is, is um, being asked to work on and deal with and heal from and, and evolve with and work with our, with our divine counterparts on. And um, so, so yeah, so this, this full moon is definitely special in the sense that it is the very first full moon of the year uh, of 2021. It is getting us ready and set up for the rest of the year, sifting through energies, bringing in what will serve us and being prompted and guided to release what no longer serves us. So with the spirit of the light dancer, this amazing, um, what did I do? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this amazing energy and card. Uh, and just with that thinking about being illuminated, I guess. And we've done different meditations throughout the years about light and being illuminated and all of that. Um, I'm sure even at, at other full moons and again, this energy with a full moon. So just to think about that as we get into this meditation. So here we are, you guys, let's get to it. It's 9.06 PM here in the Pacific on 1.27 2021 and that in itself uh the 27th of every month is a power ascension day um that two and that seven makes it a nine and empaths light workers we are known as the nines uh and it's just an extra it's a day it's one of the it's the last day before the new month and the new stargate uh, whenever that happens, this coming up in February is on, so it's 2-2 two, two is the beginning of the Stargate. We have this power ascension day that rolls into the full moon. And honestly, I've been feeling this full moon energy for at least a week now. And uh, because it's been coming in, it, it got coupled up with the conjunction on the 20th when Mars 
met with Uranus in Taurus. So we have this really awesome energy going on. And um, even more than that, there's this really, I guess, oh, what, what is it? It's this trine with the sun, the moon, Jupiter. And now I'm forgetting. Because like I've said, I'm not an astrologer. I just know where to go for good information. And I try to retain it and put it all together with what comes to me naturally. But anyhow, there's another thing happening right at this time where we have the sun and the moon, both, I believe, at six degrees and um, other stuff going on again not the best when it comes to remembering all this astrological goodies, but I do know the main points. And the main points have been what happened on the 20th with Mars and Uranus um, joining together in Taurus. And then today, of course, it being the 27th, the Power Ascension Day, where we're getting more bursts of incoming light codes. And on top of that, we have these alignments that are going on the sun and the moon Jupiter and I believe it is Mars but oh no I think it's Pluto actually um and and of course the full moon in Leo so it's a lot happening in this very short amount of time I get into more of that um in that first video, the fire signs video, it is the longest video because I do spend a half hour getting into all of this information about the energies, like an energy update before the, the reading. Um, so anyway, if you have not watched that, watch those yet, uh, please watch those. It's not necessary to watch those before doing the meditation. Um, so just whatever order you're guided to, just know that there are those four videos, four different readings for the Light Body Collective uh, for this full moon. Okay, with all that said, you guys, let's get into it here. This is going to be a seated meditation. So please get comfy in a seated position. If you can be seated cross-legged, on the floor, that's great. But um, in a chair, on your bed, on the couch, wherever, however is most comfortable for you. If you need to lay down, of course you can, you may do that. Um, it just tends to be harder to stay completely aware and conscious with if you're, if you're laying down. A lot of people tend to tend to go so deep they don't remember. The meditation anyway if that happens to you uh, it's always a good idea to come back and listen to it outside of a meditative state so you can absorb where we went and what we did and if we get messages coming through another thing of note is that we are definitely doing astral travel here and um, bringing in our guides and guardians, creating a safe, um, sacred space where you're at. Uh, you can grab, you can pause this video and grab any crystals that you're being guided to hold or have near you, create a little grid, or just tap into the crystals that you have in your space already. If you get itchy, you can move around, you can scratch your skin because we do get, um, it does get very energetically charged and your body will most likely feel it on some level. So you don't have to stay still. All that is really important is just to keep your eyes closed, keep those eyes closed so you don't bail out on wherever you're at. Um, but yes, you can go from seated to laying down or laying down to seated. Feel free to, to move around as needed. And again, most importantly, uh, it is to be comfortable. So a couple of cleansing breaths here just to get us nice and straight and stable close your eyes just 
So guiding you from the seated position, let's make sure that your, your shoulders are above your hips. You're not too, leaning too far forward or too far back. Your abdominal muscles are engaged. You're nice and stable and uh, not too, not tilted in the pelvis or the hips in any way. Want to make sure that your ascension column, your spinal column, from your neck all the way down to your to your tailbone and your root chakra are nice and straight. And let's just take a second here and from the very start here, I am feeling this warmth underneath our seat and. <laughs> Um, right from the start, I'm feeling Gaia coming in and sending us up these lot, these beautiful, um, cords of light and energy, very, very warm. She's saying she wants us to imagine us and visualize us, um, sitting on like a hot stone but it's very comfortable like the the energy coming straight up from her through the earth this cord of energy straight to straight to our seat and where we are and just imagine that we're on this very comfortable slab of stone that's very, very comfortable, but it's warming up. And we can feel the heat coming up and rising from Gaia, from, from her intention, from her center, from her core, sending up energy directly to our seat. and letting that heat penetrate, come through our, our seat, our root chakra, and, and just activate it, turn it on, get it going. So just imagine that beautiful red activating of the root chakra. And feel that energy go through your pelvis and your hips and through your legs and up your abdomen and your back. And at this time, our guides and guardians coming in. I want to welcome our angelics, our most direct uh Guardian angels, healing and miracle angels, the archangels, the dragons, the fae, the galactics, all of the high council, your ancestors, spirit guides, loved ones who have crossed over from this lifetime and any others all here with us. Welcome, welcome. everybody coming in your um, ears might start popping you might start getting itchy in the head or warm throughout or just different places on your body acclimating to the energies coming in from your spirit tribe so just take a minute invite them in Continuing to feel this energy rising up from Gaia. <clears throat> Let's take this moment now to really uh, feel into this energy being uh, sent up from Gaia. Now, even though we're all doing this meditation separately, privately, 
we're being asked to think about the collective of us and just imagine that there's let's say 500 people that at some point in time will do this meditation but instead of thinking about how it might be all at different times I'm being guided to see us all doing this at the same time because truly when it comes to space and time it isn't linear it is more like a grid and a matrix in which we can connect in time and space um, and and go back and forth and it really isn't linear what is even known as past lives are not even that it's just a different timeline um, from the one that we're conscious in right now so to think about us okay kitty so to think about us all together and I got that number of 500 so to imagine 499 other souls besides you or I guess 480 498 you, me, and 498 other souls all together at the same time doing this meditation. And imagine these lines in this cord of light coming straight from Gaia. It looks like like yellow, orange, um, I guess even sort of lava-like coming straight up. And as it reaches our, our seat, and, and even if you're not on the ground, I mean, most of us would not be sitting on the ground. Just imagine that energy going straight up to wherever you're seated. It's the energy. So that energy penetrating all the layers of earth and whatever is between that and your seat, layers of concrete, and who knows what, or just a couple feet between you and the ground, like it is here with me. Just imagine that coming up, getting to your seat right under there. Whatever you're sitting on is this beautiful stone uh, big just big stone and it can it, just imagine it or or a crystal, just whatever crystal or stone, rock. And that's all that we're being shown right now. So, and don't get too, don't get ahead. And just feel that energy and imagine these lines of light, these cores of light going to 500 other souls or 500 total, she's saying, all over Gaia all at the same time coming up and meeting with us penetrating our energetic field our body and accepting this energy she's just showing it coming up and just take coming into our body activating with our chakras so going up to the sacral and the solar plexus it's going straight up to the heart and just kind of setting them off, just turning them on up to the throat chakra again, going big, turning it on. Up to the third eye, hitting up the up into the third eye and activating, turning that on every single one of our chakras in the body turning on. So 
So red with the root, orange with the sacral, yellow with the solar, green with the heart, blue with the throat, indigo with the third eye, and then radiating up to the crown chakra, violet light with that halo. And just letting that beautiful energy come up and in and through the entire body. It's going through everything, just lighting you up. And more visions coming in for us. We're sitting at the bank of the ocean. There's cliffs, rocks, tide pools. And the ocean is very calm. The tide is low. So you can see the rocks far, far out, the little rocks and pebbles. And it is nighttime and the moon is rising. Going up, up, up into the sky and the stars are so very bright. Take a deep breath, really feel into your body. I want you to think about your hand chakras. So as you're sitting there on the shore of the ocean, the temperature is perfect outside. You're not too cold. It's not too windy, it's perfect. Everything is perfect. You're perfectly comfortable. You feel so safe. The moon is extremely bright and glowing, reflecting off of the water. And in your palms are little balls of light. Opening up your hand chakras. Now going down to your feet. Thinking about those feet and your legs, just letting that energy flow all the way down to your, to your legs, past your knees, through your knees, your calves, your chins, your ankles, your feet, all the bones in your feet. Opening up the channels of energy down, right down the centers of your feet. Now think about you taking your feet from that cross-legged position and digging your feet into the sand. Again, feels fantastic. It's not cold. It feels really good and just connecting with Gaia. And once again, paying attention to the palms of your hands, opening up those hand chakras and those little balls of light in the palms of your hand getting bigger and bigger. And they're going to continue to get bigger. They're going to get to be about the size of a 
a grapefruit. There's both of them. Pure white light. You see this light coming up from, from your body, from your energy. Opened up hand chakras and these balls of light right in your palms. And I want you to take a look at the moon again. Really feel into that energy, all the light shining through the moon, lighting her up. The sun, the moon, and Gaia in alignment. Gaia sending up her energy, feeling it through our whole body, holding it in our hands. I want you to see the balls of light in your hands cycle through the colors of your chakras. See the red and think of anything and everything that is natural and beautiful of Gaia that is red. Flowers, animals, fruit, vegetables, trees, anything that is red or of that spectrum and just see the beautiful color of red glowing and these balls of light in your hands really connect to the color of red, connect to everything that is red of Gaia. Just let the images flow through. And now with your sacral chakra, orange, see those balls of light change from red to orange. And again, connecting with Gaia and everything of that orange spectrum, anything that is of orange in nature, anything that is coming to you to help you connect And then cycling through to yellow and our solar plexus chakra, that center of our internal solar system, yellow. Cycling through to yellow, the solar plexus chakra, connecting with your body, within your body, and see those spheres of light change from orange to yellow, bringing in anything of yellow to think about of nature, of Gaia. It's connecting with nature and Gaia, thinking about how you are of nature, of Mother Gaia, how you have all of these beautiful colors and energy within you. And she sends you her love and her energy so you may grow and evolve just like a flower or a tree. And cycling up to our heart chakras, going from yellow to green in our spheres and our hands, connecting to our bodies straight in the center of our hearts, in our chest, our heart chakras. Beautiful green color. And feel it expanding in your body, all through your chest and your back up into your neck, your shoulders, your arms, all the way down, green in your palms. Bringing in that energy straight from Gaia, straight up into our bodies, just feeling it cycle through. And going up to the throat chakra with our blue, so see the energy the balls and the spheres of light go from green to blue in your palms. Feel the energy. Expand the energy in your body from your root all the way up. And up into the third eye. 
with that indigo just really think and breathe and see into and tell your third eye to open as those balls of light in your palms go from end go sorry go from blue to indigo spheres of light in your palms indigo in color really connecting to the body and as we reach that third eye I want you to take a look up and down the beach behind you up on the cliffs in the water I want you to see all the beautiful divine beings and souls of all different types and kinds and connected to you in different ways but all your soul tribe here in support and think about that same thing happening for everybody else all 500 of us connecting here at the same time bringing in this energy from Gaia straight from the very beginning here, wasting no time. Gaia connecting with us, bringing us here to this beautiful beach and look up at the moon lighting everything up. Tapping in with the support of your spirit tribe. your angels, the archangels, ancestors, spirit animals, friends and family who have crossed over from this lifetime. And just allow them to come in closer so you can really feel them. And they're saying collectively to all of us how happy, how proud they are of us for doing the work that we're doing, for being guided to release and receive, release densities, negativities, programs, hurts and pains that keep us stuck from moving forward from our abundance, from our soul destinies our missions, that we are taking an active, intentional role in our ascension, in our evolution, and we are so supported in that. They're acknowledging this last year. They're saying, forget about everything else that happened before this last year. Just thinking about this last year. 2020 and this first month of 2021 and how intensely wild it has been how earth shattering and shifting how many souls uh, have crossed over in um, in this time and they are all uh, so very much still connected to their loved ones that are still here. Such active participants in the energy of helping those that are still here and are still on the life path and ascension journey. And um, the message is coming through here is just for people to spend some time connecting with those that are no longer here because they are closer than they than you would think to begin with not having the person in body or the people in body 
is a shock to our reality, but we need to understand that they are still with us and connected, and especially now more than ever. The veil is thinner than ever. The material matrix is being dismantled one by one, each person coming a little bit more offline, seeing a little bit more. Now, of course, there's going to be resistance. There's always resistance, but so many people they're showing me, so many people less plugged in. The nature of the happenings of this last year was to create such shifts in people, and it has. And now we're in 2021, a new foundation set, and now we're beginning construction in our new world. And we all need to think about the messages that came for us and the readings that came through and the fire, water, earth, and air readings. what it is that we are to work on, what blocks, what programs, what cords we need to cut, where we need to heal, in what directions we're moving in spiritually or physically. And to see the timelines that we're creating in 2021. And to send these timelines and to have the intention to disengage more and more from the material matrix, from those things that keep us separate and divided and disconnected from each other and ourselves and our soul and Gaia so what I'm seeing now oh this is really amazing what I'm seeing now is the reflection from the moon hitting the water and like I said it's a low tide the water is very calm there's just bare, there's just movement to the ocean, but there aren't waves that are forming and crashing. And the reflection from the moon is hitting the water and instead of creating that one line of light, the one line of light in the distance is branching off into many and weaving through and in the water and crisscrossing together until the lines of light come through, go all the way through the water and on the surface of the water. And you can see these different lines of light, but they're all coming towards us on the, on the shore. As we sit on our rock, and we have all of our spirit guides supporting us, our divine counterparts, our angelics, I feel their energy here with us as these lines of light approach. Now the energy in our palms start to cycle through all of the colors of our chakras and just see them cycling through and the lines of light getting closer and closer through the water on the surface of the water and now they're coming together as they approach the shore back to one line of light coming towards us through the water, through the earth, the sand, a straight line directly to us, connecting 
with our rock, bringing that energy in and through and to us. all of the most highest possible timelines filtering through our galactic central sun, our sun, through our moon, and to Gaia, coming straight to us. Just let it filter through all the highest possible timelines that we can be connected to as to connect, to receive the encodements here ask that all of our spirit tribe that are here with us in attendance that they receive these encodements that they know the paths that are available to us and that they help us see the way each and every day that we are guided through them through messages and and people and places and divine wisdom our meditation natural movement through the day that we are open to receive that we declare here with this full moon that we want to choose the best possible outcomes in all of our choices that we choose to be high vibrational that we reject the negative energies that come to us and we send them back to where they came from, but with love and transmutation. That we know that we are here to help humanity unite, to raise in consciousness, to evolve, to work with Gaia, to work with our divine counterparts, to accept our soul mission, our soul purpose, our destiny as incarnate light bodies. We're no accident, nothing is random. We have a purpose. And here now, getting into the second month of our 2021, receiving this amazing energy, these encodements, these activations, the energy coming up from Gaia, the energy coming through our sun and our moon and through Gaia, the timelines ripping through the elements. We are fire, water, earth, and air in us and all around us. We have the power as light body incarnates to tap into the highest possible timelines made and built and constructed, architected, <laughs> architected, <laughs> designed for our, for our missions and our souls, seeing that for what it is, accepting it. <laughs> They're like, yes, the architecture, the architecture of our world and our lives, the energy that we can tap into what is possible and of remembering the messages from the Oracle, what is real, how much cannot be seen with our eyes open how much can be seen with our eyes closed. Knowing in our hearts, our souls, in our minds that there's so much we cannot see, that cannot be proven, but is true, is real, is all around us. Look out and see this beautiful, gorgeous, big full moon in front of us. Suspended like magic in the sky. Illuminating Gaia. Connected to the sun. 
connected to everything in creation. And here we are, sitting quietly, peaceful. We are where We are where we are in the physical, we are where we are in the spiritual, in many and multiple places at once. So feel into your body, the energy still coming up from Gaia She's pulling us down like a magnet to her grounding. Feel that energy as the pulses of energy come up and wash through us. She's pulling down energy to her. Energies we don't need anymore. Energy she will help transmute. Energies that will become something else. A blade of grass a worm, a bee, a bird, a horse. At the same time, we're filtering in energies from the moon, those light codes coming in. Think about that Leo constellation. This full moon in Leo tapping in and uh, revitalizing the work and energy and the meditation, the travel that we did for the 8-8 Lionsgate in 2020 and we're boomeranging that energy to us here and then sending it out to the next lion's gate, 8-8 eight, eight of 21, and circling it back to us here and creating a loop. So even if you didn't participate in anything for the lion's gate in 2020, that is okay. Just think about the date 8-8 eight, eight of 2020 that is the same day every year when Sirius and us and our galactic central sun are all in alignment and a massive amount of encodements come in. We collapse timelines, we create and, and solidify timelines. We begin the dissolution of timelines. And in 2017 is when the rush of the Divine Feminine came in to really help balance out the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine energies for us as we moved forward 17, 18, 19, 20, and now we're in 2021. For the fire signs, including Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, we were asked to work on balancing the divine feminine and masculine, work on evolving and healing the wounds of the divine masculine throughout humanity and balancing in the energies with the divine feminine. So no matter what sign you are, please, Bring that intention in. Hold space for those who are to work on this, to this to be the prime directive for those signs and that element. The fire signs turning down the heat, the pain, 
and the the hurt to and from the divine masculine working to bring in the nurturing loving balancing out the energies between the divine masculine and the divine feminine and looping together with the 2020 lion's gate to the 2021 lion's gate the water signs the message directive the mission for 2020 is moving movement changing in either where you live where you work who you're with what's what's in your world acclimating to those changes of 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 moving and of movement earth signs being asked to change the way they see themselves really evolving the persona dropping the ego and accepting the spiritual self and that identity what that is who that is and finally the air signs being asked to deeply connect with their angelics spirit tribe as a whole but most importantly to begin with your most close guardian angels miracle and healing angels these four main themes for all of the light body collective all of the elements and all of the zodiac signs working together as a team now of course at different times throughout the year the balance of these themes will shift from front to back and side to side with the water sorry with the fire water earth and air Gaia is showing me just like being on a boat on the ocean as the currents change as the weather shifts through time. Those who are navigating themselves forward in the boat need to shift with these energies. And just to remember that is what we're looking forward and, and to working on here in 2021, these energies, these timelines opening up for all of us truly bring in to your awareness now all your brothers and sisters of the light body collective the nines sending out your soul song frequency to the to the nines fellow brothers and sisters of the light Sending out your energy, thinking of just sending out the pulse of your soul song, what your frequency is to all of Gaia in all directions. Your brothers and sisters of the light, picking up on this frequency, feeling your love, feeling your light. They may not know your face or your name, who you are in any way, but we are all connected. Those of us empaths, light workers, those of us of the light here for these beautiful missions and this one purpose for unity. And under that one umbrella purpose, of unity is for all of us individually to unite with our bodies, with our spirit, with our souls, 
with our divine counterparts, with our spirit tribes, with each other in the physical and astral to allow the pieces to come together, to weave the fabric of the future. And these timelines, these silver strands of light that go on top and through the water, through Gaia and straight to us, these are the roads in which we are meant to travel. We have choices and see them all along the way. But the map leads all to one place. It's our sole destiny to be who we are. We have infinite choices. We have infinite wisdom and knowledge at our disposal here in these places like this. Gaia always inviting us to connect with her. So take a moment here to think about your intentions, this full moon and what you wanna bring in and what you wanna send out and what you want to cultivate for yourself for this full moon and beyond for 2021 as we lay the foundation and start to construct our futures really start to pull on those strands of the timelines connected to the abundance matrix, really feel that crystalline grid reaching up with its energy, connecting with you and all of your timelines and your guides and guardians sending through their energy to you and out to your timelines. Tell yourself in every form and level of existence that your soul is a part of, that you accept and receive these most beautiful high vibrational timelines brought to you by your divine counterparts, the angels themselves, your own soul, Gaia, everything that you're connected to that is you and you are within and without the light on the inside the light on the outside is the same light bringing it all together so lastly bringing it all together thinking about the light and the energy coming up from Gaia Thinking about the light and the energy coming from all your guides and guardians that are behind you, sitting next to you, in the water, on the cliffs. Look around and see their light. And see their light coming straight to you, straight to you, straight to you, and absorb this light, take it in. Let it fill you up. Let it empower you. Let you feel the love receiving, receiving, releasing anything and everything in this moment that can hold you back, keep you tied to a past that no longer serves you. Break the chain of lack, of hurt, fear, of denial. Open up the channels of truth and love and abundance. Bring in the light, bring in the light, and bring in the light coming straight from the moon and all of those beautiful timelines coming straight to you. Bring it all in, feel it through every single molecule of your body let it invigorate you let it energize you let it empower you invigorate you inspire you to create to be to seek the truth for yourself to heal and clear this year more than ever before 
to come together with those of your soul family to allow them to love you and for them to allow you to love them. Release the need to control or know the outcome. Just know that everything is exactly how it is meant to be and is working out the way that it should, the way that is best. Everything weaving together. Have faith that it will. Know that it will. The truth is that it will. No doubt, no fear. Let it all go. Tell yourself as you step through every single one of your days, you'll work to let it go, whatever holds you back, and to receive what empowers you, to solidify those beautiful silver strands of the timelines coming in, to make them real in your life, to know through your guides and guardians where to go, what to do, no confusion, no fog, no stuckness, no pain, and to empower and guide you to go and be and do now. Time is of the essence, no need to wait. Moving forward now, evolve now, be you now. Bring in as much love that is coming to you now, more than ever, and accept and receive. And lastly, dear beautiful soul, we are being guided to step, to stand up and to step through the sand and to walk towards the water. As we look to the cliffs and see these beautiful fires burning. Hear the music, the song, the drum beats of our ancestors as they send us love and inspiration, calling out to us, reminding us of who we are, stepping in into the water it's perfect and beautiful and feels so, so good. Gaia inviting us to swim with her in her waters. Swim and be free and float into the future. Absorb the energy of her healing waters. Feel the energy of the water fay, the deep, deep knowing of the oceans and the water all blended together as we step in and through, float under this beautiful moon and fill up with these timelines all coming through. Feeling the body dissolve, no more density, the saturation, the density of our skin floating away in the water, leaving us to just be light. This beautiful body of light floating with Gaia receiving all this wonderful energy, these light codes coming in and just float. I am 
am free. I am free. I am me. I am divine. I am light. I release and I receive. I am free. I am me. Whoever and whatever that is, it is pure love. And just float. Let's let the energy of this full moon carry you into your future, absorbing these timelines, accepting the journey, accepting the responsibility of being who and what you are, learning the truth of you and everything as it is meant to unfold for you. floating and flowing into the future through this beautiful full moon. And just stay here and float into your future. Float on these waters with Gaia. Let these timelines penetrate into your light, solidify. You don't need to know what they are or where they go or what they have you doing. Just know that they are yours. They are the highest possible vibrational timelines that are afforded to you. And they're yours. And they will come and unfold. Just let them. And with that, I want to thank you for being here. For your energy, for being guided here to work with me and Gaia, your entire spirit tribe, the angels, the archangels, the galactics, the fae, the dragons, the fire, the water, the earth and the air, the timelines coming in. I want to thank yours, mine, and ours, our collective divine counterparts. For all our brothers and our sisters, for Gaia, for the one mission of unity for humanity. This year will be remarkable for us all. Please stay here in this space, float in the waters, absorb the timelines, receive any messages, symbols, information. And again, I want to thank you. I want to let you know I love you dearly. Happy full moon. Please take your time before you leave this space. Just allow yourself to float. Allow yourself to float here in this space for as long as you're guided while you receive incoming energies from Gaia, your spirit tribe, the moon, all your timelines. Just let yourself go and flow and see where and how you feel. Gaia is asking for five minutes. So just to allow yourself for five minutes of being in this space. before you move and shift out and go back into body. And when you do, just slowly go back into body. You might be lightheaded, a lot of incoming love and energy, a lot of releasement. 
just go slow. Think about floating with Gaia before you go to sleep tonight and connecting to all of those timelines. And really allow yourself to feel these energies of the full moon. And again, thank you for being here and being guided here. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the keys to create. I love you already and always live in love. Until next time, dear beautiful soul.